My boyfriend and best friend are in love with each other. For some context, Delaney is my best friend since high school, and my boyfriend Adam and I have been together for two years. All three of us would hang out together. I saw the relationship between Delaney and Adam as a friendly banter, that of a brother and a sister. Delaney never spoke down on Adam nor Adam of Delaney. Of course, they'd have disagreements, but I always saw that as something funny, like children fighting. I noticed the signs when Delaney started saying that she didn't want Adam to hang out with us. She said she just wanted it to be her and I. Every time Adam got mentioned or anything, she looked super upset. I asked her what was wrong, and she insisted it was nothing. Fast forward to the next day. I'm staying the night at Adam's, and he's asking about Delaney. He said she's acting weird. I asked if he talked to her, and he said not much but that she seemed off and he asked me to check on her. Adam went to take a shower and he got a message from Delaney. He's always left his phone around me and I really didn't think anything of it. So I checked it because I had messaged Delaney, but she never responded. The first message she sent was, I feel horrible and I love her, but I can't help how I feel about you. You need to choose because you can't have both. Apparently Adam and Delaney had become involved a few months ago after Valentine's Day and almost all the time since. I remember when Adam brought Delaney and I flowers and on Valentine's Day, but I only thought of it as a friendly gesture. Delaney was so happy. It was all she talked about. She kept telling me how lucky I was, but as my best friend, I didn't think it would mean she'd do this. I read more messages when Delaney Delaney and Adam said they were hanging out with friends or doing overtime at work. They were with each other. They had sent each other private images, and Adam had even compared me and Delaney's body. She had been trying to convince Adam to tell me about them and leave me, hoping I would understand that they were in love. But apparently Adam was still in love with me and didn't want to let me go. Delaney was always there for me, supportive and kind, the most beautiful person I've ever known. And Adam, the significant other. Who would have given his last dollar if it meant I'd be okay with an old soul? Someone you could always depend on. So I don't understand why they do this to me. I use my phone to take pictures of everything. And when Adam came back out, I told him my mom had an emergency and I had to leave. I needed some time to process what I was feeling and think about my next steps. I spent the whole night tearing up and reading over all the messages I'd collected. After losing myself and falling asleep in tears, I woke up the next morning and took a long shower. I pondered for a bit, but ultimately decided that no friend or boyfriend should act towards me like this, and I needed to do something about it. I haven't confronted Delaney or Adam, though. They've both texted me asking if I'm alright. I'll probably sit them both down together and handle this like adults. I'm almost 30. I thought maybe we'd get married one day and Delaney would be my maid of honor. I misjudged the situation. 